Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all doing well. So today the video is a hamstring vinyasa flow, perfect for the runners. So we're going to work on stretching the hip flexors, the gluteal muscles and all the way down to your hamstrings. So if you have some blocks, please have two of them ready. If you don't, we'll just use some books if you have some, like big books, um, just to prop yourselves up. Um, and also if you have any strap, um, get them out and handy. If you don't have any straps, just use any long piece of um, material or cloth, so maybe about that long. I don't know if you can see, see the difference, but just just big enough or long enough to actually um, grab hold of your foot or your knee if you need to. Um, so yeah, so roll out your mats and let's get started. Start off by lying on our backs, bending your knees and taking the soles of the feet on the floor. Allow your knees to touch and take your feet apart. Just let your lower back touch the mat. Keep on breathing. Maybe bring your hands to your belly, noticing any movements in your body. Just allow yourself to relax. Letting any negative thoughts float away from your mind. Then we're going to keep the left foot where it is and hug the right knee towards your chest, taking your hands towards your shins. Try to keep the knee close to your body. You have the option to keep your left knee bent or allow it to straighten to the mat. This then intensifies the stretch into your hips. Keep breathing in. Avoid holding your breath. And then we're going to re-bend the left knee. We're going to take half happy baby by taking the big toe, your right big toe with your two piece fingers and try to take the leg towards the outer side of your right arm. So you have the option to keep your left knee bent or just straighten them towards the mat. And this again intensifies the posture, stretches the hamstrings and your hips a little bit more. Now re-bend the left knee. And then we're going to extend the right foot up so that the sole of that foot is pointing up towards the sky. See if you can grab hold of the back of your leg. The further your hands are closer towards the foot, the more intense you feel the stretch. You also have the option of stretching your calf by pointing and flexing your right foot. And then re-bend the right knee, taking both knees to your upper body now. And then rolling your hips, moving from left to right. And then lowering down the right foot. Keep the left knee where it is. Keep hugging it tight towards your chest. So you can keep your right foot bent, or you can start extending that foot. So you should feel more of a stretch into your left hip. Relaxing your shoulders down towards the floor and keep breathing. Rebending the right foot if you have straighten them and then come to half happy baby on the left hand side so as you do that make sure that the left ankle is stacked above your left knee again an option to extend the right leg towards the floor carry on breathing and then re-bending the right foot this time extending the left foot towards the sky grab hold of the back of the leg Again, an option to point, flex the foot, stretching the calf muscle as well. Try to bring that leg close to you, or maybe see if you can bring the grip of your hands a little bit higher, more towards the foot. Breathing in and breathing out. Hugging both knees towards the chest, again, rolling your hips. And then we're gonna roll up and down, massaging your back. And we're going to make our way into our tabletop. So hands or knees, stacking your shoulders above your wrists. Inhaling, come into your cat cow. Exhaling, coming into your cat pose. Inhaling, look up, dropping your belly. Exhaling, rounding your back, chin towards your chest. Inhaling, tilting your tailbone up. 
exhaling, finding space into your vertebra. And then tucking your toes under, coming into your downward facing dog, bending one knee and straightening the other, coming into your walking the dog. And maybe looking underneath one armpit, maybe looking through the other. And just finding fluidity into your hips, maybe moving from left to right, little movements with your legs, just working and waking up our spine and our legs here. Slowly walking our feet towards our hands, keeping that forward fold coming into your rag doll, grabbing hold of opposite elbows, maybe moving from left to right, relaxing your neck, bending your knees, and just let gravity pull your upper body towards the floor. And then releasing opposite elbows and slowly coming up to stand, rolling your shoulders and your head comes up last. Coming towards the top of your mat, toes touching, knees slightly apart, hands in prayer, Samastahiti. Inhale, take your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart as you fold forward. Inhaling, halfway lift, flat back, hands towards your shins, your fingertips towards the floor. Exhaling, folding forward. Inhale, we're going to reach up, come back up to stand. Exhaling, hands to heart. So we're going to do two more of this half sun salutation. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhaling, folding forward, bending your knees if you need to, hands down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhaling, we're going to fold forward, stretching the hamstrings again. Inhale, we're going to reach up, press the stand, look up. Exhaling, hands to heart. One more time, inhale. Reach up, palms together. Exhaling, hinging from your hips, hands down, look down. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhaling, we're going to step the right foot back. And then the left coming to your plank. We're going to lower the knees down towards the floor. Hips come up, bending your elbows. Inhaling, we're going to come into your cobra. Legs down, stretch down. Exhale, tucking your toes under, bottom towards your heels. Hips come up, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Pressing your heels down towards the floor. Pressing your knuckles straight down towards the mat. We're going to inhale, take the right leg up towards the sky. Bend the knee and opening up the hip. Straighten the right leg and step the right foot through in between your hands. Lower the left knee down. Inhale, take your hands into your right thigh, come into your low lunge and try to sink your hips down low. So you're going to find the stretch in your left quad as well. Option to take your hands up towards the sky. You can also do a side stretch if you wish. So you're going to bend the back foot, grab hold of it with your right hand. If you can't reach that, you can use a strap. So wrap the strap around the front of your foot. And then just grab hold of the strap with your right hand. Try to breathe and carry on moving. Either in your low lunge or finding this low lunge twist. And try to open up your chest here, rotating your right shoulder towards the sky. Bring your gaze towards the back. Releasing the strap or releasing the foot. And then we're going to tuck the back foot under, take the left knee off the floor and then we're going to swivel our way towards the left hand side of your mat, come into your wide legged forward fold, inhale halfway lift and then exhaling folding forward. So if this is too much on your hamstrings, try to bend your knees and we're going to work our way into walking our hands so that it's parallel to our feet. Try to keep breathing. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, we're going to do a side stretch on the right hand side, come to Skandasana, pointing the left toes up. Exhaling, swapping sides, so left hand, or left side, side stretch. Inhale, coming back into the right side stretch. Exhaling, stretching towards the back of your mat, pointing the extended toes up. 
Inhale, coming back towards the top of your mat. I'm going to swivel our way into a runner's lunge facing the front. We're going to step the right foot back to plank, taking your vinyasa, so come to your low push up or chaturanga. Inhale, rolling onto your toes, open your chest, upper dog. Exhaling, rolling your toes, downward facing dog. Take a nice inhale here. And long exhale out. Inhaling, we're going to lift the left leg up towards the sky, bending the knee and stacking up the hips. And then we're going to straighten the left leg, step the left foot through in between your hands, and we're going to lower the right knee down towards the floor. Intensifying the stretch as you push your left thigh towards the floor with your hands, or an option to lift your palms towards the ceiling. And then from here, you're going to do a side um, lunge twist your option to just stay in your low lunge you can do a twist if that's okay for you so bend the right knee allowing the left hand to grab hold of the right foot or use a strap like you did the other side if you have or you may not need a strap so see what works for you opening up the chest rolling your left shoulder up and then we're going to release the foot or the strap tuck the back toes under lift the right knee off the floor we're going to do our wide-legged forward fold on the side, pigeon toeing the toes inwards, lengthening your spine as you fold forward, bending the knee as much as you need to, and work on walking your hands so that they're parallel to the feet. See if you can touch your head towards the floor. And then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we're going to side stretch towards the left hand side, pointing the right toes towards the sky. Exhaling, taking the other side, side stretching on the right hand side. And then coming towards the left again. Keep moving with your breath as you keep extending one leg and bending the other. We're going to do the final skandasana stretch here. And then we're making our way into our runner's lunge on the left-hand side. Stepping the left foot back to plank, lowering down chaturanga, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So you can skip your vinyasas if you want to, coming straight into your downward dog from plank. So we're going to do the next flow. Inhale, we're going to reach the right leg up towards the sky, bending the knee, opening up the hip. Stepping the right foot through in between your hands, the back foot comes in a 45 degree angle, pressing the sole of the foot down towards the floor, coming to your warrior one. We're going to sparkle the fingers up towards the sky, looking up if you, if you wish to, taking a minor back bend. And then we're going to take your hands to our waist, taking the back foot a little bit closer towards the front, making sure there's space in between both feet. And we're going to come into a half pyramid. Keep looking down towards the floor and taking your upper body straight and parallel towards the mat. Inhale, come back up. And then inhale, take the left arm up. Exhaling, coming back into your half pyramid. So you can bend the front knee if you wish. You'll feel the stretch there for sure. Inhale, left arm up. And then we're going to take both arms up now, coming back into your half pyramid. So try to engage your core here, finding that balance in your upper body, looking down. And then from here, we're going to come all the way into a full pyramid. See if you can grab the two blocks and support your hands with the blocks as you fold forward. Stay here for a few more breaths. And if you wish, you can take the blocks away and maybe bring your fingertips towards the floor on either side of the right foot. Or maybe your whole palms down towards the floor. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, we're going to bump up the back foot, taking the left knee onto the floor. We're going to come into our half splits now. So grab hold of the big blocks. And you're going to start to extend the right leg, taking the right heel onto the floor, point the toes up towards the sky. And see if you can sink your hips down low. If you have quite flexible hips and you're working onto your splits, you can start to sink your hips down a little bit more, or maybe you can 
work on taking the blocks away from your hands and see if you can come down a little bit more. So be nice to your body. If you feel like this is too much and it's taking too much pain, so ease off a little bit. So be kind to yourself as well. We're going to rebound the right foot. We're going to come to the ball of the back foot, left knee off the floor, coming back into your plank, taking a vinyasa, or come straight into your downward facing dog. Inhale, upward facing dog if you've taken the vinyasa. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Breathing in and out. So taking the left leg up towards the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip, and stepping the left foot through in between your hands, planting the right foot back into a 45 degree angle and coming up into your warrior one. So as, as you inhale, see if you can reach your fingertips up. And then exhale, see if you can come down a little bit more into your front knee. And then coming to your pyramid, so adjusting the back foot, hands into your waist, and then fold into your half pyramid. You can soften the front knee if you need to. Inhale, coming all the way back up, reaching your right arm towards the sky on your inhale. Exhaling, come into your half pyramid, breathing in, and breathe out. Inhaling, coming all the way back up. Now both arms are reaching up towards the sky. Exhaling, come into your half pyramid with both fingertips pointing forward. Keep engaging your core, bending the knee, the front knee especially if you need to. And then we're going to lower our hands down towards our blocks, coming to your full pyramid. So keeping your spine long on your inhale. And exhale, see if you can come down a little bit more. Maybe work on taking the blocks away from your hands, and maybe taking your fingertips down towards the floor. Breathing in. And breathing out. So inhale, we're going to adjust our back knee. So lowering it down and we're going to work on our half splits or full splits if you're working on your full splits. So you can take your hands into a block or you can take the blocks away so see, see where you're at. So with your half splits, so extend the front leg, heels down and the toes are pointing up. So for me on this side, it's a lot easier to do the splits than the right because my right hamstring is quite tight, so I do like to do this flow. Um, if you want to, you can use a block to prop your hip, support your hip. And like I said, just try to avoid pushing yourself too much. So we're going to come into a runner's lunge with the left knee bent in the front. And then plank, taking a vinyasa. Upward dog, come straight into your downward facing dog. Take a nice long inhale in. And exhale out. From here we're going to either step or jump through to seated. Or maybe lower your knees down and just come into a comfortable seated position. Extending your legs forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhaling, folding forward towards your legs, coming to Paschimottanasana. If you can, grab hold of the sides of your feet. You can take a strap and wrap the strap around the soles of your feet. And see if you can start folding forward. Or another option is to bend your knees and start straightening them um, on every breath as you fold forward. So it's not about how deep you come. Or you go through a posture is the amount of stretch that you get that benefits your body. On your next inhale, look forward. And then exhaling, release. We're going to slowly lower ourselves down towards the floor, taking your time. Remember, yoga is not about rushing, it's about mindfully noticing and no judging. So for me, we're going to bend the right knee and take the strap to wrap around the sole of the foot and extend the right foot up towards the sky. Keep the left leg down, left toes pointing up towards the ceiling. 
and then we're going to take the strap to the right hand and take the right leg towards the right leaving the left shoulder or extending the left arm towards the floor and gazing towards your left fingertips inhale take the right leg back stopping the grip with the strap so now this time taking the right leg towards the left coming into a subtle twist gazing towards your right shoulder inhale taking the leg all the way back up and we're going to slowly release and we're going to do the other side. We're going to bend the left knee, taking the strap around the sole of that foot. Try to bring that leg close to your upper body. Keep extending the right leg. And then we're going to grab hold of the strap on the, with the left hand and extend the left leg towards the left. Right fingertips point towards the right. Bring your gaze there, relaxing both shoulders. This should feel a little bit more easy now as you've stretched your hamstrings quite well and your glute gluteal muscles. And then we're gonna take the spinal twist. So left leg towards the right, gazing towards your left shoulder. Breathe in, breathe out. And we're gonna release the left leg. We're coming to our Shavasana. Relaxing our bodies down. Surrendering it towards the mat, arms away from the body. Just staying here for a few breaths. Honoring yourself and your practice. If you want to stay here a little bit longer, you can press the pause button. And we're going to take a full body stretch, arms up, and then hugging our knees towards our chest, rolling ourselves towards the right. And we're going to slowly make our way into a comfortable seated position, taking your hands in prayer. Namaste. Thank you very much for practicing with me today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that video and if you have, please do subscribe and share my video to your friends. Um, hit me a like on the, down below, just hit the like button. And um, if you have any comments or suggestions, please do type it out below and hopefully I can do more videos or if you have any more requests, just let me know. Alright, see you later. Bye!